What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. I hope you're having a great day. Now I've actually done this already today. I did intro the video earlier, but I ended up deleting the clip. I was just looking through some of the footage that I shot today because I'm doing some cardio right now. I'm gonna do 20 minutes after the second workout of the day. I'll explain everything throughout the video because we're not gonna start the video off right here. We're gonna start it off where I started recording this morning with the footage that I didn't actually delete. So when you watch the beginning of this video, I'm gonna do some cardio and then I'll meet you guys again at this point at the end of the video. Let's go. <laughs> So what's on the menu? Oh, right, so I think we're going for the chorizo hash. But that's a bit close. Hey. Right, guys, so we're just at this place for breakfast with my boys. We've got Mr. Johnny T right there. We've got Stephen Physique. We've got Cam. Stephen, why does your breakfast come out first? I'm smart and I order very quickly. I'd love it, but I don't like Nutella. Definitely not chocolate. That's definitely chocolate. I don't think it is. What is it? Brown sauce? <laughs> ordered the nice change, come out for some breakfast, ordered the chorizo and egg thing. And I got the oats with some jam as well, so. Just devouring that toast as if it's nothing. As if it's a small child. Yeah, split the eggs for the video. So this is the breakfast. I've got egg and chorizo with some oats with a pot of jam. But we're gonna do an egg test to see if it's runny. Da! Yeah. This guy literally just created smoke in his mouth. This is ridiculous. Oh Johnny, it's been a pleasure. Oh, oh, yes. oh, there we go. Just got outside Legends Gym. We're about to hit a shoulders, traps, and a bit of arms workout. I didn't come here with the intention to work out, though. I only came here for broke. Steve has sorted me out with some gym clothes. I'm gonna be wearing all blues. So it's gonna look kind of weird. I got a stringer. I got some trackies. We're about to go in here and work out. Let's go. Real quick, I don't know if you remember who this guy is. He was around when my prep videos were going on, and I went to the competition day with him at Body Power. There he is. Big arms, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, bro? Yeah, not too bad. You had a ham sandwich? How are you meant to make any gains of a ham sandwich? Oh, okay, because I haven't actually been to Legends for a long time because of a reason that I'm not actually going to say on the vlog. I just haven't really been allowed to be here for a while because someone in there had a problem with me. Not going to name any names, but... Right, so I just got in the change rooms. This gym has changed so much since I was last year. I haven't been to this gym in, honestly, eight months, and so much has changed. I did join Prime Fitness across the road because it was closer. So right now, I'm going to get changed and start the workout. Man, these are some juicy, colorful speakers. They kind of suit your personality. It's juicy and colorful. Now we're gonna start the workout off with some warm ups on rotator cuffs just to protect against injury. Then some sort of overhead press, dumbbells or barbell. Not really too sure yet, but let's go. For Steve's final set, he's about to do something that I actually haven't touched before. It's 110 kilos on the bar, like overhead press. So we're gonna see how many you can get. Let's go. This is your big day. Let's go. Your big day, come on. The machine, the one and only, the man himself, Steven Physique. He can't be stopped. Oh my God. Bro, those stretch marks are getting well bad at the minute. They're getting worse, you know. How long have you had them for? <laughs> they got really bad over like, the past months, but. Uh, bit of bylaw, mate. It's not you up. That is shocking. See how much you're stretching now? Yeah, it was. That's well bad. Oh, mate. Oh, my God. Look at that. There's one there, too. What? Is it the same on the other one? Maybe. Is yeah. it? Uh, yeah. So not as bad? Not as bad. Oh my god, that one is though. <laughs> Fucking hell, man, that's so bad. So thick as well. Talking about my stretch marks, actually I read a few comments in recent videos asking if they were getting worse. Like people were mentioning the fact that they were like getting a bit bad. And my dad walked in my room a few days ago and I was like asleep. And my arms were obviously like above the pillow. And he said like, Brandon, your stretch marks are getting so bad. And I, we're making some gains. I'll explain more about it at the end of this video, but sacrifices need to be made to get them shoulders. Everyone gets stretch marks for different reasons. But like I said, I will touch on it at the end of this video. I can't be 
the only person that does this, right? I know it's a little bit risky, but I'm the only person that puts their stuff in a locker without actually like taking the key out. I kind of just leave it in there. I know it's a little bit risky, but I'm all about living life on the edge. <laughs> I recorded that whole thing. <laughs> you literally use that for clickbait, but I'm not going to because it's not the sort of thing I want to present on my channel, but some things like that do happen. Like even the workout, the workout wasn't even that good. Like I'm not going to present that my life is sunshine and rainbows because it's not, like that's not real life. But that's what you want to see on YouTube, but I don't want to present a false life on YouTube. Some things happen, disagreements happen. Like I said at the start of the video about the person that I had a disagreement with, that was the guy that literally just showed up. Some people, you know, you just, uh, you can't reason with people. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Yes, Steve. <laughs> It's not even three o'clock and I've already ruined his day. Nothing like a protein shake, can't fix, even though it's one of these ones that are like full of sugar. It will do the job for now, especially after that. Walking out the gym, I oh set the camera up to do like a sick shot, walking into the car. Long story short, basically, about a year ago, we had a bit of an incident, we had a car situation, and I accidentally reversed my car into the front of his car, and I said, you know what, go to my insurance company, I am insured with this car, go to them, and they will sort it out, because he had a company car. And actually, he said to me at the beginning, he was like, don't worry about it, mate, it's a company car, it'll be covered, we won't call anyone. Four months later, I get a call from him with threats on Facebook and stuff, basically saying, I want the money, I want the cash. And I was like, bro, I'm not giving you the cash. I don't know how much you're gonna cost. You can go for my insurance and do it legally. He didn't want to do it that way. So I obviously wasn't gonna give him my cash. Obviously he's still pissed off about it. It's one of them things. <laughs> Fast forward a few hours just outside Terra, which is the company I've watched that I always wear. My friend owns the company. The reason we're here, I was challenged about a week ago by Dom. He sent me a message saying, if you're about the office, I feel like I should smash you at a few games of ping pong. If you're in the Don squad, you know that we never back down from a game of ping pong or anything in life. But ping pong is serious. I can see the wall of monsters is coming along pretty good. And that's not a bad car. I mean, mine's a little bit better, but I mean, this is okay. A little bit damaged to you. Let's do this, man. That's all as well, man. Are you ready? Because I'm not sure you are. Sharp. You feel sharp? You looking sharp? How are you, mate? Good? Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm about to be a lot better. My serve is clearly my best play. You know, my, my first hit. I think I know what's coming. I want to see how many serves you can bring back to the table. <laughs> you got to land on. <laughs> Just got to the gym. The only reason I'm training again today is because like I said earlier in the vlog, my shoulder workout was kind of pathetic. Like I only did like three exercises. So I feel like if I want to actually do anything to my shoulders, I need to train my shoulders again. Wouldn't really recommend it. I'm just like, I've got nothing else to do tonight. So I'm going to hit shoulders again. And the main reason I am here as well is to do a bit of cardio because I'm implementing cardio into my training and everything now as well. So we're going to finish off shoulders and just some cardio as well. The change room looks pretty cool actually in the video, but anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Right, so this workout is coming to an end right now. I didn't want to record this workout because like I said earlier, the workout that we did do, it wasn't like up to scratch. Like it was probably like 60% capacity. So I didn't want to take away from this workout. I wanted to completely smash it without the cameras. I thought I'd pick up it at the end to talk about what I said I was going to talk about while I was doing shoulders earlier, which was the birth of my newfound stretch marks. I mean, I've always had stretch marks like under my arms here and a little bit on the back of my legs, but they haven't actually been as bad as they have been over the past month. And to this day, they keep on getting worse i mean i have gained a lot of weight over the past month through this current off season and usually stretch marks are birthed from certain things maybe a sudden loss of weight maybe a sudden gain of weight when the skin is continuously stretched just a little bit consecutively basically through getting a pump in the gym and if you train your shoulders chest biceps, any of this sort of area, this place under your arm right here is gonna be manipulated and is gonna be stretched, which is why I think I've got such bad stretch marks under my arms. Now, the title of the video is dealing with my biggest insecurity. As human beings, we all have insecurities. I wouldn't deem myself to be an extremely insecure person. I do have insecurities about myself that I'm not gonna like disclose on the camera because otherwise, I don't wanna just talk about all my insecurities on this video because we all have insecurities, we're only human beings. But if I was to name my biggest insecurity about my body, it would probably be this this part under my arm right here because of how severe the stretch marks are. They don't get to me. Like, if anything, I'm proud of them because it shows how far I've come in the past five years of going to the gym and trying to build the perfect physique. Like, we're all on the pursuit of like trying to better our bodies and this just shows 
shows me how far I've come. So I don't hate them. I'd prefer it if they wasn't there because like they look kind of like deep red curved scars. Like they don't look beautiful, they're not aesthetic. At the same time, they show me how far I've come and it would be wrong of me not to be grateful for them. Where I'm going with this is I just want to tell you guys is if you are suffering with the same kind of stretch marks from going to the gym, maybe when you started the gym you was really overweight and now you've lost a bunch of weight and you've got really, really bad stretch marks. I want to tell you that you really should not be insecure about those stretch marks as I am trying not to be about the small ones that I have. They show you where you've come. The journey you've been on, they are literally like scars. It shows you what you've been through in life and how much you have done for yourself in progressing as a physical being, mentally as well, because obviously through going to the gym, it proves to yourself that if you set a goal and give it everything you've got, you will overcome it and you will achieve what you put work into. So if you've got stretch marks, do not hate them. And if you do hate them, there are many things you can do, which I'm gonna start doing as well, which is applying things like bio oil and certain remedies that you can rub over stretch marks that helps get rid of them. Bio oil, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the substance I'm gonna be using to decrease my stretch marks. Just if you are struggling to find like bio oil, I'm pretty sure they sell it in most drugstores anyway, like boots, super drug, all that kind of place. So I'm pretty sure you can find some. If not, you can pick it up online, Amazon, all that kind of thing. So I'll put a link to the Amazon link that I order from probably tonight because I've been procrastinating with it. I do need to get it before they get any worse. I just wanted to give you guys a message on I'm dealing with shows much right now and I'm trying to just like appreciate what they are for what they are, which is the journey and to not see them as a default, to not see them as an imperfection because human beings are perfect just as much as they are imperfect. Everyone has flaws, everyone has things that they don't like about themselves and to be honest, half the time people overthink things and honestly, you really don't have anything to worry about. We're all going through the same thing. We've all got stretch marks, imperfections, parts of our bodies that we don't like but you know what, it's part of the journey. Just know that they are beautiful and they show you how far you've come, what you've been through in life, just like scars. They are like low-key scars. I think that's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. I forgot to do the Instagram shout out on my phone. Is out of battery, so I can't pick someone that hashtagged Hardbody and hashtagged Don Squad. So I'm really sorry I can't give a shout out at the end of this video. But if you do want to shout out in the future, hashtag Hardbody and hashtag Don Squad on my recent Instagram pictures, and I'll give you a random shout out at the end of the video when I actually remember to do it. But if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.